Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jimmy here, and today I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to extend the life of your brush pens and maximize its use. And for today's video, I'll be using the Platinum Brush Pens. You can buy this at National Bookstore for only 59 pesos. These brush pens come in 20 vivid colors. So for tip number one, what would you do if your brush pen is running low on ink or it's starting to dry out? Well, if they do, don't throw them away just yet because there's still a way to revive them. And here's how you do it. Okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is remove the ink cartridge cap, which is at the other end of the pen. Just note that not all brush pens have a removable cap like this. Just give it a little tap and the ink cartridge should pop right out. Now we're ready to rehydrate the brush pen. You can use a dropper for this step, but since I don't have one, I'll settle for a water brush for now. And in here, you'll notice that the part where you drop the water becomes white. That's when you know that the water is rehydrating the cartridge and pushing the remaining ink to the other end. You would know that the cartridge is ready by squeezing the other end. The ink should come out a bit. Remember not to overfill the cartridge. Now, we're ready to use the brush pen again. You can do this on both brush pens and felt tip brush pens, as well as markers. Just be sure that they are water-based. And there you have it. Isn't it great? Okay, so you were able to rehydrate your pen and continue to use it. But what if you have already rehydrated your pen several times and the ink has run out? Well, you can still do something about it. Let me show you in tip number two. For tip number two, we will again use the Platinum Brush Pen. Again, all we need to do is remove the cap and take out the cartridge. For tip number two, we'll be using a generic, inexpensive marker to refill the cartridge. If you have inks or watercolor inks like Ecoline, these work just as well. I even use inkjet printer ink refills and it worked great.
just remove the ink cartridge from the marker and put in drops of water. But this time, we need to overfill a little bit so we can drop the ink on the other cartridge. You'll know when it's ready when ink comes out on the other end. Now, we are ready to transfer the ink from the marker cartridge to the brush pen cartridge. After refilling the cartridge with new ink, just put it back in the brush pen. And also, take note of how I inserted the cartridge back into the brush pen. When refilling the cartridge with new ink, don't use it right away. Let it stand upright with the brush tip facing down for about an hour. And there you have it! Alright, so isn't it great that you can rehydrate your brush pens as well as change its color? But what if your brush pens are not refillable just like these ones? Here, let me show you what I do with it on tip number 3. Okay, so here we have a generic brush pen I've had for quite a while now and uh, all of the ink has been used up. As you can see, it's no longer working. But you don't have to toss him out just yet, you can still use it. Just get some water and wash off the remaining ink from the brush. <laughs> there it is, nice and clean. So in here, I will be using the brush pen with my favorite medium, watercolor. But you can actually use it on any other art medium that you like. I also tried this trick with felt tip brush pens, but it didn't work out very well. So I recommend you do this only with real brush pens. And there it is. Still works like a charm. And so that's it for today's brush pen tips. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and to share this with all of your friends. And also hit that subscribe button for more My Art Life videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you again on our next project.